small tips to combat worrying all the time. Well, if you're worrying all the time, that tells me that you have a lot of downtime and you're not being very productive. So if you're not working, you should be working to develop yourself and your personal life, your social network, the things you do for fun, because it's through your social activities and your recreational activities, whether it's going to the gym or your country club or art fairs or Oktoberfest, beer and wine festivals, whatever, you, rock climbing, motorcycles, guns, gun ranges. It's like you got to get out and lose yourself in your hobbies and your interests and things you love doing for fun. And when you're not doing that, you should also be focused on your mission and your purpose in life and trying to grow your reserve of knowledge to develop your gifts, your skills, and your talents because you get paid based upon the value that you bring to the marketplace. So you always should be trying to improve yourself. And as you improve, as your reserve of knowledge grows, your skills and your talent grow because you take time to develop them as repetition is the mother of skill. You can make more money and you learn. And especially as you get older, you get experience. If you're a business person, you become better at business and adjusting to pretty much any kind of market climate. And so everything comes from competency, competency, Competency comes from doing what you know how to do and doing it really well. And that's usually a result of just being obsessed about something and doing it over and over and over and over again until you get phenomenal at it. And so if you're worried, you're, you know, it was Dale Carnegie said, inaction breeds fear and doubt. Taking action breeds confidence and courage. So you need to lose yourself in your hobbies and your interests. And you need to lose yourself in your purpose and your mission in life. And if you're sitting around and you're fearful and you're worried, it, there's some kind of action you should be doing, even if it's just going and doing something for fun. But anytime you do something at work, you want to not just be busy, you want to actually be productive. So you want to do things and spend your time doing the most important things day in and day out, week after week, month after month, year after year, decade after decade. Big things have little beginnings. Discipline equals freedom, as Jocko says. So the other thing, caveat I want to add to this, so... If you're in a stressful state, the idea, and especially you appreciate this more as you get older, is to have a more balanced life so you have more ease, more delight, more peace. And typically that, mean, that really is having people around you, hopefully at work and in your personal life, that are easygoing, easy to get along with, that are good to you, good for you, good for your soul. And you run your life, your revenue exceeds your expenses, you always try to put 20% away, whether it's in some kind of investment, stock, crypto, fine art, real estate, whatever. You always got to put 20% of what you make away every month and as your investments for your future and everything else you can spend, your rent, whatever you want to buy, food, but 20%, you got to pay yourself first. Once you do that, that's whatever's left is what you got to spend. And so, because that becomes wealth accumulation, like buying dividend, paying stocks, you know, as the saying goes, I heard it's from some financial, one of those little financial guys on Twitter, that was a great, and some wealthy investor taught him this. He said, get money, buy income. You buy a dividend paying stock that pays well, 6%, some, some of the ones that I have do on average, and you don't, when you get your dividends every quarter, you don't spend it, you just buy more stock. And like one of the stocks I have that I really like, I've been buying for years, is that it doesn't really go anywhere price-wise. So it's always the same price to buy. But the dividend is just consistent. And so you take all your profits, plus you could continue to take new money and put it in there. And as the years go by, the income from that grows. So you get to a certain point just by exponential growth and the thing turning over because the stock has done well for decades – it just you continue to accumulate more of it. So when you finally do retire, it's like you're literally getting paid a nice salary from all that stock that you owned. And by the fact that it it tends to stay at the same price, it just does this and it's done it forever. It it doesn't get more expensive as as time goes by, which is kind of cool. So it's neat. So things like this help you have a more peaceful and relaxed life. Like one of my dearest friends in the world who made all of his money in the tech world and retired in the late nineties when we were in our, our late twenties. And he just basically trade stocks. And he, 
I remember what he told me, like when he was younger, he's like, I just want to get to a point in my life where I have time to think. And I'm not having to rush in to get to work or a project. I just want to be able to wake up whenever, do whatever, eat whenever, sleep whenever, have sex whenever, travel. Just anytime I can go wherever the hell I want, any time of the day or night. If I just want to contemplate on the beach, I can do that too. And so the more your life is set up to bring you peace and ease and delight, the great thing about that is the decisions you make tend to be in harmony with maintaining those type of conditions and improving them of more peace, more ease, delight. But if you're stressed out, your decisions come from a place of fear typically, and the results and the circumstances that are created from being in a fearful state causes circumstances of more fear, more trepidation, more worry, more challenges. So it is beneficial to do whatever it takes to get yourself into a peaceful and relaxed state. And so you could be in your 20s and have your first job, even if you're earning minimum wage or you're making 15, 20 bucks an hour, no matter what, 20%, every decade just goes, I wish I'd have started that when I, you know, somebody taught me that when I was young because I'd be a lot more successful, have a lot more wealth than I do now. But it's, that's, you got to pay yourself first. So super important because especially if you're business owners, guys like me, that are entrepreneurs, we oftentimes will put, your your business can eat all all of your revenue. You can always find something more advertising, or hire more people, more computers, more whatever. There's always more shit you can buy for your business to try to grow it. So no matter what, you got to pay yourself first. So all these things collectively help keep you in a peaceful and relaxed state. And like in that case, the guy was he's too idle. And if you're fearful of about a, something that may or may not happen in the future you got to do other things to be productive, to move your life forward. Because if you sit around and you're afraid, any decisions you make when you're in that state are not ideal. They'll bring about more fearful conditions. So it's super important to be busy and to be productive. Because when you do that day in and day out, you're just t- every day like, what do I get done before I go to bed tonight? You do that all the time. Every time you go to bed, you're going you're gonna to have a clear mind. You're like, man, I crushed it today. I got everything done that needed to be done. I feel amazing. And that makes you feel confident. That makes you feel certain. makes you feel peaceful. makes you feel relaxed. And then you get up the next day, you feel good, a little less stress because you got after it the day before. And then it's a brand new day. The slate is a little wiped clean. Time to get after it once again. Control what you put in your mouth. If you're, I mean, anybody should be doing that because you want to stay fit. You want to stay in shape. You got to exercise, you got to do your cardio, you got to do your weight training. You got to take care of the little things, little details repeated day in and day out is really the key to success in anything. I think also um, if you're worrying about things all the time, um, what helps me is, is putting things in order in a timely manner. Like try to organize the things in your life, like make a list. Mm -hmm. And like Corey was saying, try to conquer those that day. But maybe if you set times to do them, then you can just like set goals for yourself, set small goals. So at least, you know, like this is what you have to do and try to push yourself because the more you put it off, is the more worrying you're gonna have more to go through. And action breeds fear and doubt. So yeah. just make maybe make a list and go through it in a timely manner, and you know, cross your stuff off, and then that always helps me with stuff. So, you know, you're not worrying about stuff you have to do tomorrow that you didn't do today. Also, you got to think about the. This comes goes. I wrote about this in mastering yourself. Wrote about this in mastering yourself. Aristotle said that um, people do more, in essence, to avoid pain than they'll do to gain pleasure. And the things we want in life, there's, we t- it tends to be a big mountain that's kind of scary and we'll f- we're full of fear, especially if we were younger and we haven't had a lot of uh, big successes or major successes, especially with things that take a decade or more. And you don't know what you... You can you're capable of and and you're typically gonna mentally be at the same place as most of the people in your life as far as what you believe you're personally capable of. But everything it boils back down to discipline, what you do day in and day out. And 
I have days where like I don't feel like running. I have like this morning I was like a few minutes into my run and I'm going, man, I don't want to run right now. I have no, this is not, I not feel good. I don't want to be running, but I knew I would feel great after I got done with it. And my, I have a streak going that's over, what is it? 20, I started this back in like 2001. I think it was, I remember I was running one time on the treadmill and I was just thinking, I was just tired. I was, like, oh, I was gassed and I just stopped and then walked the rest of the time. And I was thinking that I wanted to, you know, back then I was running a full half hour. I've since reduced it and I only do 20 minutes at a time. I do like 6.3 miles an hour on the woodway and uh, do like 2.2, 2.3 miles, I think is what it is, in about 20 minutes. And um, I do it religiously. And so the streak is, is I made a decision at one time. It was like, no matter how bad I feel, like I feel like my lungs going to come out. I'm just going to finish the run no matter what. And so like, cause you're going to have those days where you get up and you don't feel like doing it, but I feel better after I run. My, my videos are better. I feel brighter. I feel sharper. And when I don't run, I, I just feel it in my body. I my brain, I can, it, it just feels a little more foggy. And so these are one of the things I think about is that what happens if, because this is, it goes to the pain or pleasure principle, what happens if I don't do what I know I need to do today? What happens if I don't run my two two miles? Well, I'm not going to be as mentally sharp. My videos aren't going to be as good. They're not going to get as many views. And since they don't get as many views, I don't sell as many books. I don't get as many phone sessions. I don't get as much ad revenue. I don't sell as many mugs and T-shirts or whatever it happens to be. And so you always got to think in terms of what's the downside. What if I'm late? What if I choose just to be a lazy ass and not get off the couch or go to the gym? What pain is this going to cause me now, six months, five years, 10 years? What's, what, if I keep doing this 20 years out, what am I going to miss out on? And you're like, those typically aren't pleasant consequences to think about it. And then, and then you also ask yourself, because now you want to associate pleasure with doing what you know you need to do. What positive things am I going to experience if... I, even though I don't feel like running, I'm going to run another 20 minutes. Cause also it's like when I have basically done this with 22, 23 years in a row and never stopped the run, I ran the full minutes and didn't stop. And, uh, I may have got off to like, you know, turn a light switch on or turn the AC down real quick, but where I, I was just so gassed and I didn't finish the, the full 20 minutes cause you could pause it and then get back and, and go again. But where I just bitched out and didn't finish the run. It's like, it's a streak. And so I wasn't feeling like doing it today. And you're going to have a lot of those days in your life. You're going to get up and you're like, man, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like going to the gym. It's cold out. My car's not driving properly. It's not running right. It's like, oh, but what do I got to get done today? What pain am I going to experience if I don't do what I know I need to do? And what pleasure am I going to gain if I do take action? If I choose to discipline myself and not have the big piece of key lime pie? <laughs> Got to be disciplined. As Jocko says, discipline equals freedom. And that's what it means. Choose to do the things you need to do. You're going to experience pain if you don't. That's way worse. But you'll also experience great pleasure if you do take action. And what is that pleasure? And that helps you use the psychology to do the little things and overcome the fears that you have, like that the questioner was asking. Because it's a battle every day. Every day is a new day. There's new challenges. I woke up yesterday and three of my email addresses was not working. And the way to fix it is to delete one of them, which has like 70,000 emails in it. And that's when you do that. And then you re-add it. It's got to download all those and it takes hours. And you can't even find your new email it's like so you have to log into a portal online it's just things like that are aggravating because it takes time it's unproductive time but those those are the pressure points in life the life is always throwing shit at you that you didn't expect it's how you deal with it and the meanings that you give it that really determine and shape your destiny and your trajectory <laughs>